welcome to week two in Thrive, the nutrition portion. We are going to be focusing on fast meal prep this week. So fast, flexible, life proofing your meal preparation because we all know even the chaos and craziness and busyness that is our lives in our 40s plus plus plus, we have to think about our future selves in some kind of increment or measure, okay? Small or large, okay? We have to think about our future selves. But we all know that every day, every week's energy demand is different. Some weeks, for example, we can put a small increment of time towards our meal prepping and thinking about our week and our future self and what's happening. Other weeks, we can have a greater bandwidth and we could maybe spend Sunday um, prepping some meals and batch cooking and freezing, etc. But there are secrets to life proofing our meal plan that I am going to revisit with you guys today very quickly um, that sort of take that stress and that sort of worry about I should be prepping, I should be doing, I need to do this to eat healthy, I need to do this to keep on track, etc, etc. Plus, take away the what's for dinner that a lot of us are hearing, especially right now, okay? So, step number one in the secret to life proofing our meal planning is setting aside 15 minutes, okay? Typically on the weekend, but it doesn't matter. 15 minutes in your calendar. Physically book it in your calendar. Morning's usually easiest too. And in that 15 minutes, you're just going to think about what is going to be happening in your family for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? A lot of times lunch is gonna be leftovers, that's totally fine. But I just wanted you to think about breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two to three days in advance. If you can only do one day, so be it. That's a win, okay? But two to three days in advance, think about what is happening for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cross-reference to your schedules. Um, obviously, right now, we're in a position where we're not going out very much, we're not rushing around in our day-to-day -day lives, but that time will change. There will be an end to this when the doors will open, we're back to work, we're back to activities and doing the things, right? So make sure you cross-reference with your calendar and make sure you pick things that work. We haven't chopped anything, we haven't cut anything up, we haven't separated anything, okay? We just thought about ideas. Go to your resources that, there's a plenty of them, in the membership site of the 3M. There's tons, okay? Next, you're gonna go and check your fridge and pantry. Do a scoop. Do you have any um, missing ingredients for those two, three days of ideas that you have written down, okay? Write them down. This is your grocery list, so to speak, okay? The next thing that you're going to do, if you only if you've had time, okay, so we have 15 minutes, stage one, scope the pantry stage two if we have more time then we can go and make a couple of the breakfast ideas remember breakfast is really the staple here on setting the stage for our metabolism for the rest of the day so making a couple of chia seed puddings ahead of time um, if you're doing overnight oats and we've talked about that maybe you're prepping that ahead of time uh, knowing you know dicing up maybe a couple bananas if to have to in smoothies whatever it may be okay maybe you can prep a couple of meals great done shove them in the fridge mason jars four if you have time only if you have time then we go into snacks okay looking at those two or three days ahead are we busy? Do I know that I have back-to-back -back meetings either in my home office or away office that I need to have a snack in there because I won't be able to have to eat you know, for five hours, six hours straight. Need to have a snack. Prep something ahead of time, okay? I love the hummus with the carrots and celery in the mason jar. It's super easy. You can make it ahead of time. It takes literally two minutes. Uh, part, um, rationing out some nuts, you know, making sure you have apples on hand and fresh fruit, whatever it may be, okay? Think about a couple of snacks if you need them, okay? If you need them. 
family hanging around the house a lot more lately. What snacks can they just grab and, and go with? Um, they don't have to ask mom about, right? That are healthy, right? They're not necessarily going for the Doritos or the Rice Krispie Squares all the time. They're going for something healthy. Power balls, little protein balls that you can make. Um, the breakfast donuts, kids love those. Those are great uh, snacks as well just to give you some ideas. But the point is to making it life proof that we only get to the stage if we have time. And some weeks, again, that increment of time can be small or it can be bigger, right? So we have to have flexibility in there. Now, the last step, if we have more time and it's a rainy day, Sunday, and we feel like prepping some more, then we can get into prepping for the dinners, right? The two or three dinners that you have. Thinking about batch cooking, if you're doing something in the crock pot, maybe you can make a double batch and then freeze it for another meal down the road. Um, making sure you have the quantities on hand, etc. okay? But only if we have the time to do so. But going back to stage, the step one, just writing down those ideas of, of for breakfast, lunch, and dinner has thought about your future self takes so much of the angst and worry and oh gosh what should we eat and if you're hungry you're gonna go for your brain scream for energy remember you're gonna go for whatever's handy there those triscuits have no chance um but we're still thinking about our future selves and it really sets the stage so again to recap guys i gave you steps one to five to life proof your meal planning even in um, stages of chaos and anxiety and stress and everything that's going on, we take it and we break it down. So you start with the step one. If you have more time, you move down the line to step five. Um, some weeks you can get to step five, some weeks you can't, and that is okay. But baseline is step one, booking that 15 minutes into your calendar. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon and happy meal planning.